Hello there, welcome to the eBusiness Guru Warehouse Plus for Linworks mobile application series. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the picking and dispatch module in Warehouse Plus 2.0. Picking and dispatch helps you to manage the final stages of processing an order. To make sure you have all the stock you need to dispatch accurately and also to reduce any negative feedback from customers and increasing customer loyalty, this is when picking and dispatch really comes into its element. Now the first stage in picking and dispatch is selecting the printer that you need for invoice printing and label printing. So I'm just going to select this one here. Now you have two options when it comes to picking and dispatching an order. You can either search by an order ID or you can search by an item. In this case, I'm just going to test first by searching by an item. So to search by an item, I can either enter in the product title, I can enter in the SKU, or I can scan in the barcode, just like with many other features in Warehouse Plus. So I'm just going to search for an item by product title. And straight away, you can see that I've been presented with orders which are outstanding. Another way is you can search by the order ID. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter in the order ID that I want to search for. So for example, 1027. And then what will happen is I'll be taken to the picking screen where I can now start picking the items. There is also a select location option where you can select the location that you want to pick from in your warehouse. So make sure you've selected that location before you proceed with picking an order. So in this case, I'm just going to select default as that's the only one I have in my setup account. And I'm going to pick an item. So here we go. So I'm going to search again by the order ID. And I'm going to start scanning in items. You can also enter in the quantity manually as with other features in Warehouse Plus. Notice you'll be able to see the order ID, the order date and the source name. So in order to start scanning using a smartphone device, you can press the camera button. If you have an Android handheld scanner, you can use the Android handheld scanning functionality, the trigger button, to pick up orders. So in this case, as I'm using a smartphone in this scenario, I'm just going to use the camera to start picking orders. Notice the quantity is 5 when I scan this order. So I'm going to scan in 1. And I'm going back and I'm going to attempt to process the order, but then it gives me an alert error saying quantity is mismatched. So this is a good thing about the picking tool. It makes sure that you pick the right amount of before you dispatch. So when you're using the scanning tool, this is really handy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the scanning tool and I have a quantity of five I need to pick and it's telling me that it's in bin rack 10. So I'm going to give that another shot. So I'm going to scan using the barcode on the camera. So the good thing about Warehouse Plus is that the multi-scanner function is available in settings. And this makes it easy to pick without having to in be interrupted a numerous amount of times when picking orders. So for example, I'm going to scan this item now. And it's given me the chance to scan again without interruption. And I can keep going until I want to stop or until I reach the quantity that I need to get to. So I've scanned in three so far. I'm going to scan in four. And 
and that's five. Once I've scanned in the required quantity, I will then be given an option to either process the order as normal, which you can do in sales order feature in Warehouse Plus, or I can select the option to print with a label and an invoice. If I select print labels and invoice, it will then send a communication to Limworks to print an invoice as I've set up my virtual printer before starting the um, dispatch and picking module. Once the integrated invoice has been printed, you will get this notification window. You just press OK. And then once you've done that, you can just go ahead and press process order. Are you sure you want to process the order? I'll say yes. And then it will say your order has been processed successfully. And that's how you use a dispatch and picking module in Warehouse Plus. Just to show you guys, this is what this is a sample invoice that I've just printed out. As you can see here is you can see logo, email, billing address, shipping address, order summary, and order details, just like with a normal integrated shipping label that you may have printed out from Nimworks. And that's the dispatch and picking module in Warehouse Plus. If you have any further questions or queries, drop an email to apps at ebusinessguru.co.uk and I'll speak to you in the next one. Thank you for watching.